Hey, Shalom, Israel, Most High Christ, blessed man. Hey, this part two of 15 minutes with the captains, and it's your boy, Captain Hoshia, once again. Shalom, Most High Christ, blessed soldier Uriah. Hey, to you that a new day begins when the sun sets, and even when the sun sets. Mark chapter 1, let's start at verse 21. Mark chapter 1, verse 21. And they went into, and they went into Capernaum. And straightway on the Sabbath day, he entered into the synagogue and taught. So the subject is Christ's teaching on the Sabbath day in the synagogue. Let's see what took place in the Sabbath day. Read. And they were astonished to his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes. And there was in the synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. So now, Christ set up and rebuked an unclean spirit in the synagogue on the Sabbath day. And it came up out of man. Let's read on. Verse 27. And they were all amazed, and so much that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority commanded he even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. Read. And immediately his... So soon as that happened, it said immediately, read. And immediately his fame spread abroad throughout... Immediately his fame spread abroad, read. Throughout all the region round about Galilee. And forthwith, when they were come out of the synagogue, they entered into the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. So now they didn't left the synagogue. Remember, he just rebuked this unclean spirit on, uh, in the synagogue on the Sabbath and healed the man. Read. Verse 30. But Simon's wise mother lay sick of a fever, and anon they tell him of her. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. And immediately the fever left her. Now he then went to uh, the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. And now he had laid hands on Simon's mother and healed her. Read on. And immediately the fever left her, and she ministered unto them. Now listen to this verse 32, read. And at even, it say, and at even, we, and at even when the sun did set, when even when the sun did set, we, they brought, they brought unto him all that were diseased, and them that were possessed with devils. You gotta ask yourself, why did they wait to even when the sun did set? Why did they wait to even when the sun did set to bring all the disease? To bring uh, and them that were possessed with devils. Let's go to Matthew chapter 12, verse 10. Let's see why they waited to even when the sun set it to bring all those that was diseased and possessed with devils. Read. Matthew chapter 12, verse 10. And behold, there was a man which had his hand withered. And they asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day? You hear that? The Pharisees was pushing a doctrine. That it was unlawful to heal on the Sabbath days, read. Right? That they might accuse him? They was asked, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath days that they might accuse him of what? Breaking the Sabbath. Breaking the Sabbath. That's why I go right back to Mark chapter 1, verse 22. I mean, verse 32, read. Right? Mark chapter 1, verse 32. And at even when the sun did set, they brought unto him all that were diseased. That's why they waited till the evening when the sun set it. Because the Pharisees had a doctrine that it was unlawful for you to heal on the Sabbath day. They considered that work. And you could have got put to death for that. They want to kill they want to kill Christ for healing on the Sabbath day. So all the people waited till the evening when the sun did set and when the Sabbath was over to do what, read? And then even when the sun did set, they brought unto him all that were diseased. And them that were possessed with devils. And all the city was gathered together at the door. Now look, let's read, uh, let's go to the book of Matthews. Let's go to the book of Matthews. And let's start at verse 20, chapter 20. 
verse 1. Now, we're going to deal with a parable. Now, I'm not going to go deep into understanding with this parable, Israel. I'm just going to stick with the basics. Check this out. Read. Matthew chapter 20, verse 1. For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is in householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day. Now, notice, the, uh, the labors, labor was, was hired for a penny a day. Read on. He sent them into his vineyard, and he went out about the third hour. And saw others standing idle in the marketplace. So now the third hour of the day, which uh, would be considered 9 a.m. Read on. And saying unto them, go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, I will give you. Read on. And they went their way. Again, he went out about the sixth and night hour. So the sixth hour of the day will be considered 12 p.m. This is not talking about the sixth hour of the night. This is talking about the sixth hour of the day. That will be con considered 12 p.m. And the ninth hour will be considered 3 p.m. Read on. Again, he went out about the sixth hour. Uh, again, he went out about the six and ninth hour. That'll be 12 p.m. and 3 p.m. Read. And then likewise. In about the 11th hour. The 11th hour will be considered what you, I mean, the 11th hour will be 5 p.m. Read. He went out and found others standing idle and said unto them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? They say unto him, Because no man have hired us. We don't got no purpose in life, read. He said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. Read. So when even was come. Why did they say the 12th hour right there? It said evening. So when even had come, this would be considered the this would be considered 6 p.m. Read on. So when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard said unto his steward, Call the laborers and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. So he said, Call them and give them their hire. Now look, let's get a law about oppression. Why he had to pay them at even? Remember, they was hired for a penny a day. Why did he pay them at even? Go to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse 14. Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse 14. Thou shalt not oppress and hire servant. He said you should oppress a hired servant. So this is a law about oppression, read. That is poor and needy. Whether he be of thy brethren or of thy stranger. Whether he of your brethren or the stranger, Israel. That are in thy land within thy gates. At his day, thou shalt give him his hire. At his day, thou shalt give him his hire. Read. Neither shall the sun go down upon him. Neither shall the sun go down upon him. Neither shall the sun go down. So this was a law about oppression. And for a servant had to be paid every day before the sun set. Why? Because once the sun set, there begins a new day. Let's keep reading. Now, let's go right back to Matthew 20, verse 8. Matthew chapter 20, verse 8. So when even was come. So this will be considered 6 p.m. Read. The Lord of the vineyard said unto his steward. Call the laborers and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. Why? Because the sun was about to set and the day was about to be over, read. And when they came, they were hired about the 11 hours. These men that was hired about 5 p.m., read. They received every man a penny. They got paid the same things as the, brother that's, the brothers that got hired 9 a.m., 12 p.m., 3 p.m. I mean, at 3 p.m., read on. But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more. And they likewise received every man a penny. They received the same thing. They said, hey, look, we've been working longer than him. We're supposed to receive more. Read. And when they have received it, they murmur against the good man of the house. The reason why I'm continuing to go on, because I want to show you that it's a num it was an hour difference between the 11th hour and evening, proving that this would have been 6 p.m. Read on. Saying. 
These last have wrought but one hour. So that 11th hour is 5 p.m. and even is 6 p.m. He paid them 6 p.m. before the sun set. Why? Because they had to be paid that day. A new day begins when the sun sets. A day ends when the sun sets. A new day begins when the sun sets. And the following day begins at sunset. I've been walking around saying that I'm a black 